um, the, the initial idea came on a run, and uh, once I ha had spent a little bit of time um, coming up with a game plan and a stronger vision for what I wanted to see happen, I approached Dr. Brown about making this happen. I'm thinking about all the challenges that uh, that, it, uh, that are included with this program and and, uh, and concerns about it uh, being successful. And uh, but at the same time, I I, I felt the passion in uh, Dr. Martiro's voice as she spoke about it, and and uh, and, I, and I affirmed the opportunity that was there for the college. And I said, we're going to find a way around these problems. Let's just get underway, and uh, and we'll figure it out as we go. And that's precisely what's happening. Um, his idea was that we could do a work-study program and compensate the piano students from the college through that program and there, therefore it became a strong college program that was offered at the Boys and Girls Club as opposed to a Boys and Girls Club program that we were doing on a voluntary basis. And then I spent some time seriously thinking about who I thought would be the better fit for this program. And, and then I came to Mario and Alexis. And she, I don't know, randomly asked if I wanted to teach piano to a group of students from the Boys and Girls Club. I am only been reading music since I started college and I thought that that might be a bad idea but she thought it would be an asset since I'd learned recently. I believe there are a few music programs at boys and girls clubs across the country. I know that there are programs for at-risk youth across the country music programs. The way that I've done this um, is so personalized and also embedded into the service learning structure of the college that I, I don't see a model for this anywhere. Um, also, it, it's really unique that it's offered at an all Steinway institution. Yes, everything started one day when Miss Nori walked in our store and she wanted to buy a piano for the choir room because the choir room's piano was in such bad shape and she wanted to do it as a gift. And it kind of went from there. Uh, Miss Nori kind of introduced me to, the, to Dr. Brown and the different ones at uh, Martin Methodist. And uh, the whole idea of becoming an all Steinway school was born in some of those meetings. So essentially what we're doing is taking these, these instruments that were donated to us, these high quality, very expensive, world-class instruments, and, and turning them around and offering them to kids in the community who not only can't afford lessons, but the majority of them don't even get to eat on a regular basis. I've loved being able to personally provide the pizza every Wednesday for their sessions and uh, have come over several times to, to see the students and to see the uh, progress that they're making. So it's been great fun for me personally. My favorite thing is whenever Alexis helps me whenever I mess up on the piano. One of the things I like is wanting to be talented and wanting to learn. I like just how they treat us and it's really fun. I really like doing it. I like learning new stuff. I like playing the piano. That's my favorite thing. One thing that I like about taking piano lessons is that I like learning music and I like the food. <laughs> Part of what I've been trying to do is establish a relationship with Steinway and leverage that connection so that we can grow the college program. And I had met with Steinway, um, Joel, this past summer. And as I was looking through um, the, the gallery, it was the first time I'd been to the Steinway Gallery of Nashville, he had showed me some keyboards that were on sale, um, that they were trying to get rid of some used ones. And I had left that day, um, and I was still trying to figure out how we were going to get a piano, a practice instrument at the club. There was no, no resources for that. We had no money. So we had to wait for the right trade-in, and then uh, I'll never forget one day it came in, a trade-in that I thought would work really well, and I got right on the phone with Melissa, and we talked, I said, I think I got the right one, and we were, we were really happy at that point. And he came back and said, I talked with Bill, and we would like to give you a piano for this program. We're so proud of our room. We have a brand new music room, 10 fantastic future piano players, and it's all because of Martin College and their commitment to Boys and Girls Club. Dr. Melissa has done a fantastic job. These kids go to campus one day a week and get professional lessons. Two days a week, they're here getting individual lessons and they have their private time too. There's not enough of words that can ever describe what we have with this piano group and this music lessons. It brought tears to my eyes just to see my kids enjoying it, just to see them doing something positive and learning something different. 
it's just, I don't know, you can't put it into words. I just, I just love it. <laughs> No, you're playing all this. This whole thing is her memory. How long and how do you break it down to learn to play something like this? Yeah, um, flawlessly. Yeah, flawlessly is an exaggeration. 